Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? complete our journey on looking at the reactor user library uh, blog that was recently pub published and I'll uh, as I've been doing I'll put a link to this in the description uh, but the dark techno ensembles and we have gone through all of them except for one the classic following up on a forum request Request Christian Snyder, Schneider, sorry if I'm butchering that, the creator of this ensemble patched up this Blockspace 303 clone that you can also implement into your machine workflow. 3 no 3 <laughs> includes a delay and an additional LFO for extra tweakability. No, really, a 303, but good fun. Check out 3 no 3 here. Don't mind if I do, so I'm going to click the link. We're going to go to the Reactor Community page and download this from the user library. Uh, and let's go ahead and get this loaded into my library. So uh, thanks very much to Christian Schneider. And uh, if you click through to the author page, you can see the other instruments that this gentleman has put out. Uh, and you can uh, check out uh, those um, those instruments. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do is go ahead and get this guy loaded into my library. So let's get, um, the three, no three unpacked here and go ahead and pull open the, ah, machine three, no three. That's very, um, and we have what here? A machine project. Ah, nice. So this is helpful. I'm going to go ahead and just move all three of these here for now. And I know that this project is here if I want to go ahead and start messing with it. Um, but the 3 no 3, um, so not the machine 3 no 3, but this 3 no 3 is going to be the one that we're going to open up. So let's go into play. And let's go into uh, edit mode. And this is obviously the uh, instrument that we were looking at last time. But what we're going to do today is a little bit different. Uh, we're going to pull up the 3 no 3. So let's go ahead and open up 3 no 3. And here we have it. Um, so let's figure out how this guy works. Probably hit the play button. Yep.
So very good for uh, cool bass lines for uh, multi-wave oscillator, Paul filter. You know, just a great example of how you can use, um, you know, the um, sort of blocks bass and blocks primes libraries in order to, um, you know, put together a cool bass line. Cool sequenced bass line. It's used in eight steps. So... On that note, until next time.